I, th I think uh, for a genre, I, I like relationship, uh, stories of relationships between people. So uh, it sounds a bit simple to say you like love stories, but, but um, I do like, I like love stories. I like stories where people are um, becoming involved with one another, the, the forces that attract people to one another. I think that as a reader, you get very involved in those kind of stories and uh, I, I certainly enjoy exploring that as a writer. I like to, to explore what it is that makes someone attracted to someone else. And uh, of course in, in this story it's difficult because uh, of the pr professional relationship between a doctor and a patient and he, uh, the psychologist certainly shouldn't be becoming involved with his patient. Um, so, so that was interesting to, to follow. But as a reader, I, I, like, I like love stories. I'm, uh, I, I get a kick out of those. I, I write in a, a study. I have my own office uh, in, in our house and uh, my husband's a writer too. So there's a tower at uh, one part of our house. Uh, he has the, the middle floor and I have the, the top floor. So I have a, a room that's particular to that. And years of writing for television uh, mean that we, we're not mystical about it. We, we, we don't wait for the muse to arrive. We're very businesslike. And so uh, we get up at six o'clock in the morning and get to the office in, in the studies in the house at seven o'clock in the morning and work. Um, usually we write a certain number of words per day, uh, every day, and you're not allowed to stop until you've written all the words. Uh, it's, it, it becomes like a, when someone is training to run a marathon and they know they have to do a certain distance every day, they become addicted to it and they can't let themselves down. And I think psychologically, that's how we um, write. Um, the, the, we, we force ourselves to write a certain number of words and we can't allow ourselves to eat dinner until those, those are done. And it, it helps you get through. Uh, sometimes you, you might look at the blank page and think it's, it's difficult to fill it with words. But I think if you have the approach of just forcing yourself to get the words out and onto paper, you can always go back and fix them. There's always time to make them better. The worst thing to do is stare at the blank page and become afraid to write anything. So, so we always write something no matter what it is, get it down on paper. And I would, I would give that advice to anyone who wanted to write, just write, just put it down. You can always fix it later. If it's not good, you can make it better.